oiling valves on the trumpet. So you'll need your trumpet oil cornet and some valve oil. Um, take the lid off. Be careful with this stuff because it's a bit icky and when, when it sort of gets out of the bowl on your fingers it doesn't come off without um, hand wash or something like that. Now um, you, we un need to unscrew the valves here. So that's just at the top of the valve. I generally do all three at the same time. Now, when you pull them out, you'll notice that there's this thing here at the bottom of the spring. If we spin it around, you'll see that there's one slightly wider side, one slightly more narrow side. On most trumpets, the narrow side faces this side of the trumpet and the wide side faces the bell. But you might want to double check on your trumpet. When we want the valves, just put it out a bit. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. But I'll hold it between my legs. And just touch the top of the bottle to the valve. Spin it round. Then pop the valve back in. Oops, it's just falling easily. And again. You don't need to squeeze the bottle. If you squeeze the bottle, it will cover everything in valve oil and you will not want that. And also, if you're doing it over um, like a nice wooden desk or something like that, you might want to stick something down a rag underneath it or some um, newspaper or something. Anyway, um, then you just um, line it up so you've got the more narrow side in the right place. You should just go in and click and screw the top of the valve back on. This should stop any sort of gloopy valves. If they sound like they're scraping or they're dry, this will get rid of that straight away. Um, so that's how you do it. And then if it's clacking at all, it's usually because there's something slightly loose. So it'll either be that you haven't screwed it up quite as tight as it should go. You get that noise. Or this, the top of the valve, can become, can uh, loosen as well. And you get that sort of sound. So just make sure that they're tightened at the top, down there, and if it's still clacking, try the, bot the bottoms of the valves. Because they, if they come loose, they clack as well. And that's it, that's how you oil your valves.